Are you struggling with how to solo on an acoustic guitar? Let me show you how. Hi, I'm Carrie Too Smooth. If you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and then click the notification bell so you can be notified every time we're dropping a new video. I don't want you to miss out. And as a rule of thumb, I tell everybody that's watching my videos, watch all the way through, make some mental notes. I'm dropping a lot of nuggets. Go back and rewatch it so that way you can miss, catch the things that you possibly missed the first time that we went through. So I know um, I've been reading a lot of different comments and this is something that I teach um, as well. People don't know how to really solo on acoustic guitar and you find yourself that you may be in a position where you want to solo and you're just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do it, how to make it have that sing song like ability. I can solo when it comes to, you know, my electric guitar, but I don't know how to do the same thing on acoustic. So let me give you a couple different tips and things to think about whenever it comes to soloing with an acoustic guitar. So today I'm going to be playing a loop, a loop that I created um, that's going to be in the key of A major, right? Um, as a rule of thumb, I always teach everybody, regardless if they're my students or people I'm just having regular conversations with, I always teach it in the major key. Reason why is I like to use the same format and the same formula every time that I'm playing so I can duplicate my, what I'm doing and not have to overly think about what I'm trying to do. So the progression today is going to be four, two, three, six. But when we do our six, we're gonna do a, a, a dom, I'm sorry, a sus four to a dominant seven. So for those that don't know or are familiar with the number system, that's going to be a D major 7, um, a B minor 7, C sharp minor 7, we're going to do F sharp, sus, F sharp, dominant 7, all right? And so when I'm soloing, what I like to do, especially when I'm playing, I know I'm playing in the key of A, I want to always tell a story when I'm thinking. I'm trying to think super simple, but sing song-like ability. So I may do a line, but I try to make that line really stand out and really be pronounced. And so I'm gonna play this track for you, play this loop for you, but then I'm gonna show you an example and go back and explain uh, some of the things that I'm doing. So I'm hearing that it's, it's an open kind of thing, whatever. So I wanna solo, I wanna find those spots. So I'm, I'm gonna start on that A. Right. So what I'm thinking about when I'm soloing, number one is the sing song like ability. I want to make the guitar sing. I'm thinking about this as a voice. This is what I'm trying to use to sing as a voice. I'm not trying to um, wow you necessarily. I'm trying to have a conversation. I'm trying to communicate with you so that way you feel exactly what I'm saying with this instrument. And because I'm in the key of A and the progression is the way that it is, four, two, three, six, I'm using the points that I'm starting on that E string. I'm da -da -da -da. Like sliding. So versus just playing the individuals. We're, we're not doing, we're not doing that. Da -da. We're not doing that. And you got to learn to slide into certain notes. Sliding into notes and doing like different kind of trills of vibrato helps to facilitate the song. So instead of like me reading on a level where I'm just like say the cat in the hat, I'm able to really read it and facilitate the cat in the hat wore like a red da 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 and just really kind of go down the. That's what you want your solos instead of it being so like kind of spotty. So if you're gonna play that line.
having a little character to it. So essentially I'm playing the same pattern <coughs> on the E string and on the B string. to like where I think about now. Was I done that? <laughs> so all of this is going to be in the major key. Here. So if I'm thinking about playing off of that too, I'm using that pivot point. That's like one of those like major key like progression loops. I can use those same like scale like practicing exercises and use them for like different wrists whenever I'm playing. So if you're trying to figure out different kind of keys or different kind of scales to use, use some of the scale exercises that you practiced with before. I'm telling you, you can use those same scales and really find like different nuggets in there. This. Doing the trills. kind of scales trilling on certain notes really taking the time out to really work work and focus on trilling those certain kind of notes i'm mean, let me pause for the cause right here if you leave a comment because i like to read through your comments i like to just see what what techniques you use what kind of matter of fact what kind of acoustics do you play i definitely want to know that from you also if you're like the stuff that i'm teaching but you want to go and do an even deeper dive i have an acoustic course acoustic r&b course that's available on carrie's camp uh, you can go to my website, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com and sign up um, to be a member if you want to learn from me to teach you how to play acoustic guitar and so many other things. But let's just jump back into this lesson. So I'm always thinking about like even some of the scale exercises that I do when I'm playing, when I'm practicing, like using those different kind of scales to like accent some of the certain notes. The nuances of doing the trills, doing the bends, doing having a little vibrato is really going to help you facilitate when soloing with acoustic guitar. You want to tell the story, that's the biggest thing. Kind of scale exercise that I would do in the, in the key of, in the major key. And all I was doing, I was recycling the same line.
So you can find yourself regurgitating and recycling the same line, making it sound like you're having a conversation, like a call and response kind of thing that you're doing with yourself. These are some great tips that you can use whenever you're playing acoustic guitar that you need to solo. I'm telling you, you practice these different techniques, you're gonna to start to see growth in your playing. And